In this video, we are going to learn how to find the area and perimeter of a rectangle. First of all, consider a rectangle. Let the length of this rectangle be L and let the width of this rectangle be W. Then the area of this rectangle is given by L times W. And the perimeter of this rectangle is given by 2 times L plus W. So if we want to find the area of a rectangle, that is if we want to determine the space covered by the rectangle, then we need to multiply the length of the rectangle by the width of the rectangle. And if we want to determine the perimeter of the rectangle, that is if we want to determine the length of the boundary of the rectangle, then we need to take two times the sum of the length and width of the rectangle. Now let us consider an example to see why these formulas work. Consider this rectangle over here. We can see that the length of this rectangle is 4 inches and the width of this rectangle is 2 inches. We can use these values to determine the area and perimeter of the rectangle. Now the formula for the area is L times W. In this case, the length is 4 and the width is 2. So we have 4 times 2, that's 8. And since the length and width are given in inches, the unit of the area will be square inches. So the area is 8 inches squared. And the perimeter is given by 2 times L plus W. So we have 2 times 4 plus 2. And that is equal to 2 times 6. And this is equal to 12 inches. So the perimeter will be 12 inches. And the unit is inches in this case because the unit of the perimeter will always be the same unit as the length and the width. So this is what we get. Now let us have a look at this rectangle. First of all, we can see that the length of the rectangle is 4 inches. So first of all, let us divide this rectangle into four strips and each of these strips are of the same width they're all of width one inch and since the width of the rectangle is two inches let us divide the rectangle into two parts and this time we can see that the length of this part is one inch and the length of this part is also one inch so what we end up with is a bunch of squares where the side is of one inch. All of the sides are of one inch. And so this means that the area of each of these squares will be one square inch. And so let us count the number of squares we have. We have one square over here. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we can see that there are eight squares each of one square inch in area which cover the rectangle and so that means that the area should be eight square inches and we can see that the area is eight square inches according to the formula we just used so we can see that this formula works now let us have a look at why the formula for the perimeter works now the length of this rectangle is four inches because of this the length of the side opposite to it will also be 4 inches. Now the width of the rectangle is 2 inches. This means that the length of the side opposite to this side will also be 2 inches. Now the perimeter of the rectangle is what we obtain on adding the lengths of all the sides. So we need to add 4, 2, 4, and 2. And if we do that, what we end up with is 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2. And if we calculate that sum, we will see that we obtain 12. So this means that the perimeter of the rectangle should be 12 inches. And we can see that we obtain that the perimeter is 12 inches. And so we can see that the formula works. Now, let us have a look at a few practice problems. Let us determine the area and perimeters of the given rectangles. Now consider this first rectangle. 
we can see that the length is 4 inches and the width of the rectangle is 3 inches. So let us first of all determine the area. Now the area is given by the length times the width. Now the length is 4 and the width is 3. So we end up with 4 times 3, that is 12. And the unit of the area will be inches squared. So the area is 12 square inches. And the perimeter will be equal to 2 times L plus W. So we have 2 times the length, which is 4, plus the width, which is 3. So we end up with 2 times 4 plus 3, which is 7. And so we have 2 times 7, which is 14. And the unit of the perimeter will be inches. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 14 inches. Let us have a look at the next rectangle. Now in this rectangle, we can see that the length is 5 inches. And the width is 2 inches. So first of all, let us determine the area. That's the length times the width. Now the length is 5 and the width is 2. So 5 times 2, that's a total of 10, and the unit will be inches squared. So the area is 10 square inches. And the perimeter will be 2 times the length plus the width. So we have 2 times 5 plus 2. So this is equal to 2 times 7, and so we end up with 14 inches. That is, the perimeter is 14 inches. Let us have a look at the next rectangle. We can see that the length of this rectangle is 3 inches and the width of this rectangle is 3 inches. So actually this rectangle is just a square. But we can use the formula for finding the area and perimeter of a rectangle even in the case of a square because all squares are rectangles. So let's do that. Now the area is equal to the length times the width. Now the length is 3 and the width is also 3. So we have 3 times 3, which is 9, and the unit will be square inches. So the area is 9 square inches. And the perimeter is 2 times the length plus the width. So we have 2 times 3 plus 3. So what we end up with is 2 times 6, and 2 times 6 is 12, and the unit will be inches. So the perimeter of this rectangle, which is actually a square, that will be 12 inches. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time.